What's going on, combat sports fans? Welcome to Joe's Madness. If you have a passion for combat sports and love MMA, punch that subscribe button into submission. And if you enjoy this video, slap that like button like a pimp. Share the video with your family and friends, and make sure to let us know down below in the comment section your thoughts and opinions. Now we got UFC 212 with the Unification Championship match. And this is a fight review for Jose Aldo versus Max Holloway. And this one was a spectacular fight. I did do a full fight commentary on it live streaming here on Joe's Madness on YouTube. Uh, you can check that video out if you want. It is quite long as I started talking during the intros and went on after the fight. Uh, so this was pretty crazy. I was stunned. I picked Jose Aldo to win it in my prediction video, which you can check out. Uh, and I really was stunned. Like, I know Max Holloway's a badass dude and he's tough. And he came in with a 10 fight win streak. And now it's 11 fight win streak as he is now the unified champion, the undisputed champion of the featherweight division. He wins it via TKO in the third round. Max Holloway defeats Jose Aldo via TKO in the third round. It was crazy. He hit him with a left to right, a left and a right, and down goes Jose Aldo. And then he jumped on him like a praying mantis and just kept slugging him and punching him, hitting him over and over again just uh, like a wild man with control though and intensity until big john mccarthy stopped it and it was he took like jose aldo took a lot of shots i was actually surprised that john mccarthy didn't stop at 15 to 30 seconds earlier but he was given jose aldo the chance to get out of it and do something as he was on his knees he was on his back on his side he kept on moving and rolling around trying to get away from max but max just stayed on top of him and kept on grounding and pounding him until eventually uh, big john mccarthy stopped it and max holloway becomes our undisputed uh, king of the featherweight division and it is awesome it was a lot of fun even if i was going for jose aldo i'm glad that, that max won and congratulate him and it was an awesome fight between these two warriors and i'm looking forward to seeing what holds uh beholds jose aldo's future does he stay at the featherweight does he go up to the lightweight does he retire and go into boxing? Does he just straight up retire and start training other fighters? What uh, will behold Jose Aldo's future? I hope we get to see him again because he is always an, an amazing fighter to watch fight. Now, uh, for Max, who should he defend his title against first in the featherweight division? Personally, I really, really would like to see Cub Swanson get a rematch against Max Holloway. That would be an awesome one to run back for five rounds and see what would happen. As Edgar has had many, multiple title shots, uh, you know, uh, we have, we know the Korean Zombie's injured. Ricardo Lamas needs a new, uh, a new fighter to fight. Maybe uh, Yair Rodriguez might be ready. I don't know, probably not. Uh, there are other people out there, though. So, uh, right now, my, my the one I really feel the strongest for is Cub Swanson fighting uh, Max Holloway. Uh, you know, maybe Frankie Edgar would fight Ricardo Lamas in uh, place of the Korean, zo the Korean Zombie, but I don't know. We'll see who Ricardo gets uh, instead, but... I don't think uh, Ricardo should be fighting Max next, even though he is ranked above Cub Swanton. But these rankings don't make sense. So I think I'm going to end up making a video for each weight class and giving my uh, my rankings myself for each weight class and my uh, reasoning for each one at where they're at. And the way I do the rankings will be different than anyone else, I'm pretty sure. And I'll probably end up making a website at some point. So keep an eye out for that uh, for when that comes to uh, partition. So uh, let me know if you enjoyed this video and you thought it was awesome that Max Holloway won and is the undisputed featherweight champion and the king of the featherweights now as he's taken the crown from Jose Aldo, uh, you know, down in Brazil at UFC 212. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to take a moment and slap that like button like a pimp, like you mean it. Share the video with your family and friends, and if you haven't yet, punch that subscribe button into submission. Combat Sports is awesome, and you guys are amazing.